Now let's talk business where truck drivers on transit will have to be tested for COVID-19 48 hours before proceeding with their journey between Kenya and neighboring countries. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia says only drivers with COVID-19 certificate issued by the government will be allowed in and out of the county and access to ports. Now this comes as Kenya Port Authority followed 2,000 workers in an attempt to slow the spread of coronavirus. Last month, 23 workers at the port of Mombasa had tested positive from the deadly virus, making the port a COVID-19 hotspot. At any given time, the port has more than 6,000 workers loading and offloading an average of 10 ships per day. What we decided now and given directives is that only the core business, only the core functions will remain at the port of Mombasa. And this is loading of cargo from the ships and also loading cargo onto the ships for exports. And so the number of the employees at the port of Mobasa has been reduced from 6,200 to 4,000. And due to the high concentration of workers within a radius of less than 10 kilometers, the rate of infection has also spiked. We had insisted that anybody below, uh, above, sorry, above 58 years had to stay home, even if he or she was in a core mandate, core function. And then secondly, we have insisted the other hygiene issues had to be followed very diligently. Washing of hands, the sanitizers, non-use of lifts, all those other interventions still continue. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Mashari has said truckers accessing the port and the inland container depot facility will be required to have a COVID-19 free certificate issued by the government. We want to limit to only the core functions. So output of the core functions will not go down because the core functions is about operator, operations of the port. Cargo coming in, all the ships are offloaded and all the ships going are loaded with cargo. That output will not change. In fact, we like it to go up. The CSA is the reduction in workforce will not affect ship loaders and offloaders in a bid to minimize cargo disruptions at the facility. O'Brien came in for Channel 1 Business.